Hey guys, Backlog Kids at it again, and today we're gonna take a look at something from the 30 minute mission line from Bandai. Introducing the Spinatio Ninja Type. For those of you wondering, 30 minute mission is Bandai's line of robots that are not related to the Gundam universe. These kits are designed to be built rather quickly thanks to the fine build system. First introduced with the HGAC Leo. Another thing they considered for its design is customization as there is a slew of optional parts to make your Examax your very own. And yes, they are called Examax in the lore. You'll find that the kits in this line are pretty basic in design, perfect for army building since they look like grunts. They also come in different colors and different variations. And the best part is that they come in cheaper compared to your average HD Gumpla. And based on the things I said, it seems like Bandai wants you to buy a ton of these for your personal robot army. <laughs> and I've gotta say, it's really working. <sighs> so let's check out this Italian ninja. Checking out the box, you'll notice that it is really thin, thinner than most high grade boxes as it only comes with a few runners and has a simple build. You'll see in the box art, the Spinaccio with the ninja armor and its base form. It reminds me of the RG box arts but instead showing some awesome ninja poses there on the left. Now this does have a samurai variant which is the Sengoku type that comes in in red and black. Maybe in the future they'll release more variants of this Examac, like they did the Porta Nova and the Alto. But for now, it's just these two. It does also come in a female variant called the Spinaccia, that looks similar to this kit but with different proportions. On the side, they show you the armor laid out and the weapons this kit comes with and Bandai showing you what you can do if you combine this with other kits from the series to not you to buy even more 30 minute mission kits. I mean, look at that, that looks dope. On the other side, not much going on, but it has a QR code that will lead you to their website. Moving on to the manual, you'll see here bits of the lore for the 30 minute mission universe. You'll see the current three factions in this universe on the bottom. Earth Alliance forces are like the Fedis with the blocky design, Violent forces are the Zeon forces in this universe with the more rounded design, and the Maxion with the slender design looking like speed and agility is their focus. Over here, they show you how the parts are laid out intuitively in the runners. As I said before, it is designed for a very quick build, and you can see at the bottom is a quick reference guide to build the base Penatio. Here, they show you some samples on what you can do with these kits. With the 3mm hardpoints and C-type joints highlighted as this is the reason for the impressive amount of compatibility between the kits in this plastic model line. That awesome looking art of a customized ninja type really encourages you to dabble more in the line. Even showing you the kits that you need to make the one from the illustration. Runner list over here showing you that this kit only has 6 plastic runners and 1 polycap runner in total. So on to the kit itself, let's take a look first at the base form of the Spinatio. As you can see, the Spinatio really is a simple looking robot without the armor on. The proportions on this kit make it look long as the limbs are slender since they are meant to look like agile warriors with the theme of ninjas and samurais. 
they use the soft plastic that most of the recent release Gunplus are using now, so it does feel very premium. Love how vibrant the color blue looks in contrast with the black and gray, breaking up the color so it doesn't look like a cheap toy. You'll probably notice some parts do have hollow bits, but it's hidden away in parts that you would rarely see. There are nice little bits of detail all over the kit but most notably, you can see behind the visor, the two eye sensors piercing through your soul. So yeah, let's get the armor on. Alright, here it is with its full ninja gear on. Definitely looking much better. Now this is looking like a ninja alright, with a faceplate resembling a Hanya mask that famous pop culture ninjas wear. I'm really liking the geometry of the armor, having that layered samurai armor look, but toned down to fit the ninja aesthetic. The shoulders have this cool asymmetric look which is really nice to have every once in a while. If you haven't noticed, the shoulder parts were swapped with another pair that has the extended peg so the shoulder armor can be attached. An adapter is also attached to one of the C-type joints in the waist so that the gun can be holstered in the side. Speaking of the gun, it is officially called the beam rifle and has this rugged futuristic flintlock musket design. It does look really plain with it being fully white but really this is more of a sidearm for the Spinatio as the main weapon for this ninja boy would be the short blades. So these blades are meant to be held with a reverse grip like a true ninja would but can be held no problem with the included holding hands. You can combine them together to make a double bladed sword or a gigantic shuriken uh, whichever you imagine this would be. It's a good thing that they also included two open hands so you can make it look like it's drawing the blades. They don't come with their separate hand covers so you have to grab the ones for the holding hands. The kit also has an angled holding hand for the beam rifle to match the angled grip. So overall, pretty okay amount of weapons and nice assortment of hands. But if you find this a bit lacking, don't worry, Bandai has got you covered. As I've said, there's a ton of option parts out there, all of them highly compatible for any 30 minute mission kits. The customized weapon pack that features this kit includes the ninja sign hands and is currently the only way to get it. I kind of feel like they could have included it with this kit given that this is the ninja type. But at least it is decently priced and isn't locked behind the dreaded premium Bandai store. For the articulation, the head is on a ball joint and can really move around with no problem. It can also tilt forward and can tilt way backwards, now that's insane range. The torso is on two ball joints, one for the upper torso and one on the waist, giving it a really nice ab crunch. The lower torso is made by two parts connected by a peg, so it will have a really nice side to side. I don't think I've seen this kind of articulation before from any other model kits, very nice. Arm is on the ball joint but doesn't have the hinge that moves out like most Gundam kits. Shoulder armor can both move out like that and can rotate around the shoulder joint. Arm can move out like so and has a bicep swivel. Elbow is single jointed but has a really nice bend. Hands are in your standard ball joint. Skirt armors can both rotate as they are in a peg. Legs can do the splits really well and both can kick all the way to the front and all the way to the back. They can also be pulled down to give it more range for the kicks. Another new thing for the articulation is the ball joint for the thigh which gives it more movement than just a simple rotation. Double joint and knee for that nice fold. Feet can move up and down and also has a ball joint. So yeah, you can practically pose it to any pose you can imagine. The possibility of this kit is just insane. Size comparison time against an average Gundam and the Porta Nova. As you can see, the Spinatio is a bit taller than both due to the proportions of this kit. And here it is compared to the one of the taller Momo suits, the narrative Gundam. 
got really tired of handling the new Gundam as it is a bit finicky due to it being one of the older kits I own. So let's just use its descendant from now on. So overall, this kit is a really good pickup. It is cheap but you'll get more bang for your buck from this guy. Out of the box, you'll get a cool looking ninja that can do any pose you want and comes with a decent amount of weapons and optional hands. So, if you're looking for something different and want to try a bit of kit bashing, definitely get one of these and maybe another one from the line. It's like starting Gunpla all over again. You pick one up and next thing you know, you have a tiny plastic arm in your room. So that's it for the review. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it down and let us know why in the comment sections. Consider subscribing if you like what we do. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so you won't miss a video. Join us again next time for another Backlog Kids Review.